Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about defining resources in Microsoft Project 2013. Now before we jump into that, first let us understand what are resources. Resources are typically people included in the project, whether a, whether a task is assigned to them or not, they will be still called as a resources. However, a resource can be anything that is used to complete a project. It can be a material or it can be an equipment as well. We'll have a better understanding of this in our practical approach. In this video, we are going to talk about defining resources in Microsoft Project 2013. I'm sure guys that you are aware of what are resources and what are the function of resources. In order to explain you what are the function of resources, let me first get the resource sheet on my screen. Now in order to get that sheet, there are two ways of doing it. The first way is if I go to the task tab and under the task tab, if I click on this drop down box, I have something as resource sheet. If I click on this resource sheet, I can get a resource sheet right in front of my screen. Now this is one way of doing it. Another way of doing this is first let me undo this. I have undo. Then I have to go under the view tab and under the view tab, I can see something as resource sheet. If I click on this resource sheet, the resource sheet will again reappear in front of my screen. Now under this resource sheet, I have different variables or I have different columns. Let's understand this column one by one. Starting off with the very first column that is the resource name. So in order to get different resources, let's say that in a particular project I have different resources so I can define those resources under this column let's take some of the resources first I'll take subject matter experts those are known as SMEs I'll type SMEs right out here right and I hit enter so I have the subject matter expert next are my business analyst right so I have business analyst then we have test analyst we have engineers as well and we also have managers I'll type manager and I hit enter so these will be our different resources for a particular project now moving on to the next column the next column talks about the type of resources if I click on this drop down box it says work material cost we will be talking about type different type of resources in my next videos all right so moving on i have initials so basically what it has done it has taken it has taken the initial of the very first letter of the resource name so if you can see it is s it is b for test analyst test analyst it is t for engineers it is e I can also change this initial by typing manually. So for this, I'll take this as SME as it's already a short form. For this, I'll take this as BA as business analyst. Then I'll take this as TA as test analyst. Engineers, absolutely right. And we have managers. All right, so basically this helps me to get their initial on the timeline. They'll be represented by T, SMEs, BA, TA and accordingly. Moving on, I have the next segment which says group. You can also group these resources under one group. So if you want to, you can do it according to your need or else we can just skip it. Moving on with the next one, it says max. So basically it is saying how much you are going to use this resources. Are we going to use it 50%? Are we going to use this 100% or I can use it for 200 percent if i want to change the value for these i can you can see there is a down arrow and up arrow key if i click on this up arrow key it will increase the percentage and down arrow key will decrease the percentage out here i can see the resources are being uh, marked in percentage right i can also get this in decimal and how i do that i have to go under the file menu and under the file menu i'll click on option under the option tab, I have to go to the schedule and under schedule, do you see such uh, showing show scheduling message under this? It says show assignments unit as percentage. I can click on this drop down and I'll click decimals. All right. Now let me hit OK and see what are the changes has been incurred. If I click here now, it says one, right? So basically, if I want to increase, if I can just increase with this uh, 
up arrow key and down arrow key so let me make this as 2 for business analyst let me make this as 3 all right I can also type it manually and for test manager let me make this as 1 now moving on to the next one it says standard right so basically it is asking for the standard rate as you can see in on the screen it is asking for the standard rate now you can define for every resources as the standard rate for it so for SMEs it can be five dollars per hour if I click five and if I hit enter it says five dollar per hour for business analyst I can take this as seven for test analyst let me make this as six dollar per hour for engineers let me make this as eight and for managers let me make this as eight dollar per hour so these are the standard rate for all the resources which I will be using in my project I can also change the currency for these I guess you must be knowing how I do that it's quite simple if I want to change the currency to from dollar to rupees I can go to the file tab and under the file tab I'll move to options in options I'll move to display tab and in the display tab you can see the currency right you can change the currency the way you want it from just typing if I want rupees I'll type INR I can get the resources in rupees as well you can see let me apply the changes if I hit OK I can get the resources in rupees as well now moving on with the next one is the overtime column it says if the particular resource is working overtime now what will be there uh, costing for the same if I go for SMEs from five dollar it will move to six dollar I'm sorry now it is six rupees per hour right or uh, I can make the changes accordingly I can uh, make this as seven rupees per hour right it's way too cheap so let me get back to <laughs> let me get back to dollars so let me go here options and display I will make this as USD all right let me hit okay so now I have it's in dollar so basically it's seven six dollar per hour seven dollar per hour for and you can change it for the rest of it for engineers let's make it five dollars per hour right so in this way I can also if they are doing any kind of overtime I can also calculate the costing for the same moving on with the next column it says cost per usage right this is again if you want to if you wanted this to make any kind of changes you can make in this column the way you want it now moving on with the next column it says Acrobat. now in this column if I click on this drop down box I see there are three options First, line, first one is start, second is prorated and end. So what is prorated? Pro, if I click the option as prorated, it means the payout to that particular resource will be according to the work done by them in percentage. So if they have just covered 50% of the assigned task toward them, so they will get the payout according to that. So it will be just 50% of the entire amount. So if it is $5 per hour, if it has worked for just half an hour, the payout will be for $2.5 per hour wise right now if you select in this accurate accurate at if I select it from start that means I have to me pay that particular resource that is SME upfront before I start the project and if I click on this end it will say that the resource will get the payment or it will get the payout after the end of the project alright so basically I al always keep this as prorated so that in case if that particular resource fall down it can be uh, we can get their cost according to the prorated data alright moving on to the last one is the base if I click on this drop down box it says task calendar 24 hours so basically this is nothing but the different type of calendar which I have been scheduled or I have assigned to that particular resources if I can select any of the calendar from these options now as of now I have created a task calendar so I have assigned a task calendar but from here I can select standard as well I guess you guys must be getting standard calendar as per your setting so let me make this standard for everyone alright so this means the project will start for standard time for standard chart the timing starts at 8 gets over by 12 
and that will be the first half and the second half starts at one o'clock and it ends at five all right so basically this is the chart uh, or this is a drop down from where i can select the particular calendar for that particular resources all right so i guess guys this was all about the resource sheet hopefully guys this video was helpful for you